Hello everyone, let us explore GNOME 42 in this video. Beginning with the desktop, there are some subtle visual changes instead of the old rectangular highlighting. Now we have them in rounded rectangles which make the system look more consistent. Submenus are now differentiated with a lighter color, a rounded card that spreads over the whole menu differentiating it from the parent menus. The on-screen display elements now have a pill-shaped design matching with the very much rounded appearance of GNOME 42. An important change is the dark mode support. The change is now swift from light to dark theme because of a fading animation. Even the background changes to a darker variant if you are using any one of the official wallpaper from GNOME. These dual mode wallpapers have a split look while custom wallpapers can also be added but they are kept in a separate place. GNOME 42 comes with Lib Advaita built in its core. The entire set of applications will have the advantage of GTK4 which makes them look much better than the previous version of GNOME. Soft light shadows in place, menu highlights, location of tabs in applications all have been made better to look more consistent with the entire desktop. The highlights all over the system has been replaced by rounded rectangles which very well fit into the theme. Radio buttons and sliders are made larger but the problem is that several apps like Disk Usage Analyzer, Fonts, To Do, Calendar, Clocks, Software, Characters, Contacts, Weather and Calculator these are the upgraded versions of the apps that come with GTK4 and LibAdvita. But the problem is that several applications have been migrated to LibAdvita uses the GTK4 theme while there are apps that use the GTK3 theme uh, like Nautilus in certain distros which ship the 42nd version but fortunately I got the 43rd version whatever be the case uh, they look almost the same if you look long enough but GTK4's subtle enhancement becomes noticeable with a quick glance. You can't use GNOME tweaks to change the appearance of LibAdvaita apps while the other apps change their theme on changing the theme in the GNOME tweaks application. Also there are some new icons. The folder icons have been updated to blue and the application icons are also brand new in several cases. LibAdvaita makes the overall experience very smooth. The app animations are fluent and the advantage of GPU acceleration is very much noticeable. There are also several app changes. First is Nautilus. You get this large path bar that basically uh, shows the location of the directory you are in. The rename option has been changed a bit and made larger. Now you can type large file names easily. The screenshot utility has been changed. Now you can call up the floating menu to capture the screen record and anything that you want. It allows you to select a part of the screen, a window or the entire display for screenshot or recording. There is the new console app. It is simpler than the previous version than uh, that is the terminal. It allows you to choose between two themes that is the dark or the light theme. The window decoration is responsive to the change in the theme of the app. However, a new feature is that the window decoration turns to bright red when the console is used as a super user to warn the users that it has elevated privileges. This is a very good inclusion that I think. The text editor is also a new inclusion that have made LibAdvaita GTK4 implementation. It allows you to do the same basic change of theme from dark to light. The previous terminal though is available still in the store so you can get it whenever you want. GNOME's browser Epiphany also comes with a new feature that is GPU acceleration enabled by default which should be uh, which should ensure that scrolling of web pages are much smoother now and also playback of videos are smoother. Whatever they have done the performance is not mind-blowing uh, it is decent but uh, for my machine I have noticed that Firefox is working much better for me. So finally let me show you how to upgrade to GNOME 42 from your normal Ubuntu distribution whichever version you are using. So we need to remember that we are going to update to unstable version. I am currently using the LTS version of Ubuntu that is a 20.04 with GNOME 41. So uh, first step open the terminal and then first enter sudo apt update
and wait for the process to complete. Now go for sudo apt upgrade. Done. Next, we need to install. Uh, we need to enter sudo do release upgrade. And since we are upgrading to a developing version of Ubuntu, we need to enter D. GNOME is a work-oriented desktop environment. It is very productive and distraction-free. Regarding that distraction-free guideline, GNOME has just got better. Don't get me wrong, providing a choice is a awesome. That's why KDA is my favorite desktop environment. It is so very customizable, but at the same time, GNOME feels much more polished and modern, clean and distraction free. That's all for this video. Do like, share and subscribe. Also share your opinions about GNOME 42. I'll catch you in the next one.